All right, this is how to make a fleece jester hat. This is the pattern. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the fleece you like and you're gonna put the pretty sides together. So this is the darker side. And you just need two layers. You're gonna line it up and making sure that these are on the fabric. And then what I'm gonna do is pin it just with a few pins. just to keep it straight. I usually do like four, it's fine. Okay, and now we are just going to cut with our shears. And I like to push it down when you're cutting because that way you actually get it to be the right amount. A little bit longer on the bottom is not bad because you can always fold it over after you try it on. This part is the part that's gonna go on the head. I should have mentioned that the stretch of the material has to be this way because that's the part that's gonna go on your head. This way doesn't stretch. So this part needs to be the stretch part. All right, and that is done. At the very bottom, you wanna open that part up because you need two separate pieces. You know, I don't think you'll ever realize how easy it is to make a hat until after you made it. And you'll say that was super easy. All right, now take the pins out. Try not to poke yourselves. And you could probably do that with any kind of hat that you have. You could just measure it and make your own template like I did. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep it that way and I'm just gonna pin all the way around. You wanna always make sure, and we're not gonna record all of that, but we're gonna I'm always make sure that the pins are going where we're gonna sew. So the ball of the pin has to be on the edge where we're gonna sew and then take it out. So I like to say the pins always go on the right side. In other words, closest to the edge, because you're gonna be sewing along that line. And then this way would just be straight down. I'm not gonna do the bottom because that's where my head goes. So we're just gonna keep pinning. Let's go. Okay, so I pinned all the way around with the pins on the outer edge of the entire thing, except for the bottom, because that's where your head's gonna go. So now I'm just gonna start at this end and I'm going to sew on the 15 line. I mean the 10 line, the 10 is right on the side right there on the needle plate. Start sewing, back stitch, sew. When you get close to a pin, you take it out and put it right on your pin cushion. I'm just gonna show you one of the tips of the jester hat and then we will continue. Try to keep it on the 10. Sometimes it gets caught like that. I just open the presser button and keep going. All right, and then you're gonna put the needle down kind of like you're pivoting and you're gonna to continue to sew and then bring it back. It's gonna end up going back on that 10, 10 line again. You see that? And then all the way around. You're gonna back stitch when you get to this part at the end. That's it. Okay, so I went all the way around and I'm coming to the end. Take out the pins when you get to it. And then at the very end, you're gonna back stitch with the reverse button and come to an end. Pull all the way around and then try it on so we can know how much that we want to hem it this way. Some people might want a little bit and some people might want more. So go ahead and try it on. 
Okay. Okay, so I tried on my hat and then I went ahead and um, measured it to how much, uh, how what size I want my hat. So you could make this, try it on, and you could make it less if you don't want as much of a cuff. All right, and then I pinned it. I'm gonna go underneath, oh, take this off. That's for any time you have a sleeve. And you're gonna go under that presser foot where you're lining it up no longer on the 10 or 15, but you're lining it up where the edge of the fleece right here is on the end, the left side of the presser foot. And that's gonna be your guide to making it straight. But always start it on the seam, it just makes it easier. And then you're gonna start sewing, back stitch, and then keep sewing. When you get to the pins, you're gonna take them out. That's why I put them always to the right. And then you're just gonna go all the way around. See how much easier it is when you take off that other part of the sewing machine. I think they refer to this as a sleeve. And then this is good for any cuffs or any time you're making a hat or something that's circular. And then let me show you this one part. When you get over, you have to sew right over that seam and make sure it's open. You can hear that it's working harder. And then you should be able to come all the way around and be able to match it with the other side. We're almost there. All the way and keep watching. All the way and then stop. See how the lines met? And then back stitch and you are done. All right, so that's my jester hat. And then I'm gonna turn it inside out. And you can stick your pencil, uh, your um, hand in there, or you could just kind of try to poke it out a little bit more with the eraser, part of the pencil. Use your hands. And then when you come to the end, just use the eraser and kind of, kind of feed it through there to get a little bit more of a pointy side. And then there's your jester hat.